Design for Scale is almost a window into what projects in the real world look like. Just working with a client that you're talking to and you understand that they are out there in Guatemala making a difference and improving people's lives and you're here to help them. And that's really cool. Most design classes at MIT, you, you could really describe them as designed for prototype or designed for one prototype. Um, this class is really designed for many, and that's the scale part. The bottom line is with three and a half billion people in need uh, in the developing world, uh, you need to be at scale to have an impact. And that was finally the thing that solved the problem. In Design for Scale, we team our students with entrepreneurs. The students become the consultants, the entrepreneurs become the clients. So the challenge can become how do you design for extreme affordability while maintaining the features that you wanted to maintain, while maintaining the supply chain that's required in order to launch the product in the developing world. I am part of the Mosan team and we are working on a dry toilet that's used in Guatemala. There are many households that don't have um, running plumbing, so this is an option for them to have a toilet in their household. I work with, on the Akisa project, which is a zero energy water pump. It's meant to uh, bring water from rivers and canals for local farmers in various countries uh, to help with uh, irrigation methods. Um, and what we've been doing thus far is trying to lower the cost of the overall production of the pump and reduce the complexity in terms of shipping and assembly. The big challenge is understanding the context. Here, if I design for the U.S., I have a context. I know what to expect. But if I'm designing something for Uganda, for example, I don't know the community very well. I may not know the local environment. A lot of the materials we get very easily here are not at all available there. Well, I really appreciate that as learning to do manufacturing amounts uh, for your specific project, but also like looking into how other manufacturing processes could work to give you kind of more of a holistic view. A lot of students are really moved by doing things with social impact. That matters a lot to them. So they come to us and they say, I love engineering. I also really care about the world and I want to use my powers for good. One of the missions of D-Lab and Design for Scale for certain is to have students become what we call global citizens. So no matter what they do later on, if they go out to a large company like Google or Apple, they still have that bit in them which understands the larger world context. And I think that's a thing I'm going to take with me, just the idea that I have to consider every sort of customer I'm working with and not just, you know, my best friend here who has the same kind of upbringing that I had. And to see how the product that I've been working on can get applied is really cool.